What's up guys, Philip here bringing you a comparison video and today we're going to be comparing the newly released Logitech MX Master 3 mouse for Mac versus the regular MX Master 3 and we're going to be seeing what the differences are. And along with this uh, Mac version mouse, they're also releasing a Mac version keyboard called the Logitech MX Keys Mastered for Mac and I'm going to be reviewing that in a few days once it comes in so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. So when Logitech released the new MX Master 3 mouse for Mac, I was thinking, wow, they're probably going to have some new designs or software updates or something pretty big. But surprisingly, there weren't that many big updates. Actually, there were only three updates and they were pretty subtle. So let's get into them right now. So the first difference between the both of these mice, and you've probably already noticed this, is the color scheme. On the original MX3, you're going to have this dark graphite color on the side. And on the Mac version, you're going to have that silver color that the Apple products use. And that's going to be finished with the space gray color. And if you're using other Apple products, this mouse is really going to blend in and match the rest of your products. I'm personally a bigger fan of the color scheme that the Mac version has going here because there's more contrast between the metal and the plastic uh, parts on the mouse. So I think the contrast and just the overall new vibes that the mouse has going looks pretty good. Now the second difference between the both of these mice is gonna be the USB dongle. The original MX Master 3 has a USB dongle that you can connect if you don't wanna use Bluetooth. However, with the new Mac version, this one does not include a USB dongle. You're only gonna be able to connect this mouse via Bluetooth or by using the cable that it comes with. At first I thought it was a little weird that the USB dongle was not included with the Mac version of this mouse, but if you think about it, Apple doesn't have any USB ports on any of their devices they pretty much make nowadays. So if you were to buy a new MacBook Pro, it's not gonna have any USB slots. And by not including the USB dongle, this also kind of reminds me of Apple in general, kind of like when they took away the headphone jack from the phones and everyone was like, complaining. It's like, oh, how are we going to plug our headphones in? But after they did that, a lot of companies started building Bluetooth only headphones and earbuds. And the third and final difference between these mice isn't exactly the mice, it's something else. And I was debating on leaving this one out, but I figured there might be a little more to it than we think. And that difference is the packaging. So imagine this, you walk into the Apple store and you see this type of packaging next to all of uh, Apple's other products. And you're going to see how this packaging really blends in with everything else and it's going to feel like this is a product by apple but imagine if you were to walk into the apple store and you saw the original mx master 3 packaging it's really not going to feel like it belongs there and a lot of consumers may be kind of turned off by that but because of this packaging it's really going to feel like it's a part of the apple ecosystem so my thinking on the packaging is that logitech is doing this more from a marketing perspective so that they can get more sales from the apple users and try to get more people to use their mice now something sneaky that logitech did is if you actually go on their website and look at the compatibility for the mac version of the mx master 3 you're going to see that it says it's not compatible with windows i went ahead and tested this i connected this mouse to my windows computer and it worked perfectly fine and I even connected the Logitech software to see if all the features work and those also worked perfectly fine so I don't know if this was a mistake on Logitech's end or not but this mouse does work 100% with all of the features on Windows just like the original MX Master 3 so the bottom line goes like this if you already have the MX Master 3 and you're using a Mac computer, it's not worth it to upgrade to the Mac version because the only difference you're getting is the silver color pretty much. That's literally the only difference. Now, if you don't have any of these mice and you're thinking of picking one up, it really depends on what color you want as well as if you need the USB dongle or not. If you need the USB dongle, go with the original MX Master 3. If you don't need the USB dongle and you want this gray color over here, go with the Mac version of this because it's going to work 100% on Windows and Mac just like the original MX Master 3. And with all that being said, if you want to know more about this mouse, check out my review down in the description below. And I'm also going to leave my affiliate link down there on where you can purchase this mouse. And if you want to know what's happening in the tech world, make sure you click that subscribe button and I'll keep you in the loop. Don't forget to like this video and leave your comments down below. Catch you next time.